Hey guys! So this is the beginning of my vlog. I'm clearly at the airport. <laughs> at the airport waiting on my flight. It's super duper early. Um, it's not very crowded in here, which is why I feel comfortable vlogging. There is an old man staring at me right now. My flight actually lands at eight o'clock. No, flight leaves at eight o'clock and lands in uh, Florida at like 9.24 or so. So I'm gonna try to share with you guys as much of my experience this weekend as possible. But I'm also gonna be like doing mini coaching and things like that and trying to actually be in the moment. Hope you all enjoyed the vlog, so just keep watching. Okay guys, so I just checked into my room. Here I am looking like Sporty Spice. Looks super duper comfortable and cozy. And they're treating me like I'm here with a date. <laughs> but this is so nice. Oh, with the compliments, oh, that's such a sweet gesture. It's actually a lot more cozy and comfortable than I thought it would be. Even has this little vanity for me to beat my face later. I think it's a really cute room. So I decided that the best way to familiarize myself with the ship is to take a little tour. And I ran across this place called Cellar Masters. Look how they have the wine held to a specific temperature to make sure that it's perfectly chilled. That is such an incredible thing. I've never seen anything like that before. They have wine, they have a huge collection of beer, and then they also really set a nice cozy scene in case you wanted to sit down with a nice glass of wine and have a nice conversation. They have it so cozy in there. They also have this place called Fortune's Casino on the ship. Now if I didn't know any better I would think this was Vegas it literally looks just like it it has everything from the one arm bandits the blackjack table the roulette table it has it all so if you're somebody who was into this kind of thing this is a great place for you to kind of want to hang out uh, on the ship and if you're a big time shopper and you want to spend a little money while you're there they had diamond shops and they were even doing like giveaways for things uh, but they had like Furla, Michael Kors and a whole bunch of other stores where you can get shoes and handbags and all of that and they even had this little mini art gallery if you wanted to you know kind of take a tour of that as well. Hey guys so I am back it's actually been several hours since the last time you guys have seen me I've been doing my mini coaching sessions I've done about I think seven or eight of them so far today now some of the girls are downstairs doing salsa and some of the other activities there's a casino and all of that but we're gonna meet up a little bit later to do some karaoke which would be really fun I've always wanted to do karaoke but I've never done it I'm actually already dressed I'm gonna show you guys my little dress in just a minute but um yeah hope you guys are enjoying the vlog um hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of the ladies tonight so I'm gonna bring my little camera with me and you guys are gonna come along oh yeah because it took so long I had to actually get some room service because I ended up missing dinner but I'm gonna grab me a quick bite to eat and then head on down to meet the ladies so this is one of the little nightclubs that they had available on the ship. This is where we had karaoke. Now once it filled up with people and the song started flowing, I'm telling you, this was so much fun. Singing, laughing, dancing in our chairs, some of our favorite 90s classics like Sir Mix-a-Lot <laughs> and Backstreet Boys and Cher and Brandy, like you name it. We sang, we danced, we had a great time. That was a great way to end the night. And then on day two, I decided to get some room service because I saw this absolutely stunning cotton candy sky. And I thought, why not enjoy my breakfast outside on my little deck and enjoy the sunrise. So we actually uh, just got off the boat. Um, we're in the Bahamas right now. Here's some of the ladies back here. <laughs> and we're really excited. Can't wait to get our day started. Yes, I have on black. Black is my happy color. But I'm just gonna show you guys a little panoramic view, if you guys can see. Really excited about um, getting out and doing a little bit of shopping. I hear the rum cake is amazing here. I'm gonna try that for the first time. Hey guys, so I'm actually on, I think it's called Jenico Beach if I'm not mistaken. I'm about to get some sun, some sand in my toes and all of that. I'm out here with a couple of the ladies. My divas, <laughs> this has got to be the clearest water. 
So we had a really great time just sort of laughing and frolicking on the beach, but after this we had an excursion planned with a little tour. And the first place on the tour was a place called the Rum Cake Factory. Now this place was really incredible. They were handing out samples, which was really good because I was able to try it. They had this glass area where you could actually see them preparing the rum cake right next door, which I think was good because that way you knew it was authentic and this wasn't shipped in. They had amaretto, pina colada, and also an, uh, a pecan one. I ended up bringing home a pina colada rum cake so hubby could try it and he absolutely loved it. So another one of my favorite stops on our tour of Nassau has to be this rum distillery where they taught you everything there was to know about how they make their rum, how it's aged and all of that. They even had a rum tasting and the bartender was kind enough to actually give me this delicious looking pina colada without the rum. It was still tasty even minus the rum. Hey guys, so I'm actually getting ready to have dinner with some of the ladies in this restaurant that's actually behind me. So um, the menu looks really delicious. We're waiting here at 7.15. There's like uh, seafood orzo and there's steak and salmon and all that. And we're gonna pick out on appetizers and desserts and all that. All that's covered in this cruise, so we plan to really pick out. Probably had a great day today discovering Nassau Bahamas. And um, if you ever get a chance to come, you definitely wanna do that. Hopefully I've added some clips to this video so you guys can see what my experience was like. But yeah, I'm about to get a bite to eat and I'll see you guys tonight for karaoke. <laughs> Okay, right, so here are a few of us getting ready to, <laughs> getting our mind right for karaoke. We're going through the books and trying to figure out who's gonna sing what, which was really, really fun. Uh, we did have a couple of ladies who were brave enough to get up there and actually sing. And when they did, we were right there being supportive. Here's one of the ladies from High Heels High Standards singing her little heart out. And here we are. <laughs> being her little cheerleader, singing our heart out to I Will Survive, and she did an amazing job. And here we are really getting into it. And when we left there, it was really cool because I saw this thing for the first time, which is a silent disco. All these people jamming with no sound. It's so quiet, but look at them really getting into it. So anyway, this is day three. We had a champagne breakfast with mimosas and all of that. So it's been quite a few hours since the last time I vlogged. I've been doing one-on-ones all day. I, I think I did about seven or eight of them so far and I have one more to do. And then I'll be out here enjoying this beautiful, beautiful view out there. I have like a little, little boat right there, so don't mind that. But it's a really beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. I'm trying to get down to the pool to see the ladies in just a minute, but I'm gonna do my last one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, we're having a great time. Everybody's really enjoying the, the ship and all of the hospitality and the food and all that kind of stuff. We're really having an amazing time. But as you guys can see, I have my swimsuit on. So I'm gonna do my last one-on-one -on -one session and then I'm going to meet the ladies downstairs, well, upstairs for the pool area. Alright, so once our impromptu photo session was complete, it was time for us to get all dolled up and head to our cocktail party where the captain actually made an appearance. We headed to dinner after that and had a really great time enjoying our last evening together. These are some of the most incredible women you will ever meet. Such genuine, honest, loving spirits. It was a pleasure meeting all of you. Back from High Heels High Standards 2017, I had an amazing, amazing time. It was about 21 of us. There was a good deal of the ladies I already knew from either High Heels High Standards 1 or 2, and, and then there's like four or five of you who've been to every single retreat. So thank you guys. They call themselves the originals. So huge shout out to the originals who've been to all of the retreats. To be able to have the opportunity to sow into your lives was just an honor and a privilege. A lot of you left with breakthroughs on issues and, and areas in your life where you felt stuck for years. A lot of you discovered your purpose. And more importantly, I felt like a, there was a great bond that we were able to share between all of us. Lots of memories and friendships were created during that time. So I really appreciate meeting all of you.